all your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Hello and welcome to this latest Top 5 School Teams of the Weekend video. It feels like a long time since the last one, doesn't it? Half time seemed to last for a good old while this time. Before we get into the video though, just a couple of things from me. Please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you get our content pushed to you whenever it comes out. It makes such a difference for us. Would really appreciate your help on that. Do also check us out on social media at NextGen15, that's at NextGenXV, that's on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the works, um, loads and loads of stuff going on there all the time. And of course on the website www.nextgen15.com, that's www.nextgenxv.com, loads of stuff going on there. We've got some big interviews coming up over the week and a big live stream coming on Friday, more on that later this week. Until then though, on with the video. As I say, every time we do these top fives, really difficult to choose, but also the criteria starts to move as the season goes on. We're starting to look for those teams that are really impressing with their consistency, as well as with some standout performances, and you'll see a good mixture of that in this week's top five. Some cracking performances all around, some really unlucky teams to miss out, especially in this first week after half term, where it feels like the business end of the season is just getting started. It was an absolutely cracking weekend. We absolutely loved covering it and it's been great trying to pick through all of those games to pick out our top five. Of course, there could only be five though. So in no particular order, here they are. Up first, it's Kirkham Grammar School. Unbelievably, this is their first time in the top five this season. That despite the fact that they are unbeaten six from six. I take that back, nine from nine rather. Absolutely unbelievable season so far from Kirkham Grammar School. At the weekend, they were away at RGS Newcastle. RGS perhaps not quite the same side of the two sort of pre-COVID years, but I'll tell you what, still a really good side. Kirkham went there and won 57-7 away from home. Absolutely outstanding from Kirkham Grammar School. We saw them all weekend just before half-term at the St Joseph's Festival. They were one of the sides on everyone's lips there. Absolutely fantastic rugby all weekend. Only a tiny slip up, costing them a chance of going all the way in the cup. They ended up, though, winning the tier below. Absolutely fantastic from Kirk and Grammar School. Honestly, a bit staggered that this is their first time in the top five this season. I'm sure it won't be their last. They're a fantastic side. And that performance of the weekend, 57-7 away at RGS Newcastle, is absolutely outstanding. Nine wins from nine. Kirkham Grammar School are playing some brilliant rugby and look out for them in the school's cup as well. They've got a very good chance of going all the way in that competition. Up next it's Marlborough College. I'll tell you what, Marlborough stunned us this weekend. They hosted Monmouth School, who have been unbeaten and fantastic all the way up to half term. Absolutely brilliant rugby from Monmouth. But Marlborough, who struggled early on in the season, you know, there's no point in glossing over it. Five losses on the bounce. Life was tough for them. But they, before half term, got a couple of wins. And they also, although they lost to rugby school, had a really close game against rugby. And we know how good rugby are. Marlborough carried on that sort of momentum that they built just before half term. And put an ace stonking performance of the weekend. 27-5 at home to Monmouth. That is a really impressive result from Marlborough. Three wins on the bounce. The game before that, that close game against rugby school, you can now say that's four games in a row where they've really, really stepped up. Really encouraging signs for the, the season ahead. They've got some big, big fixtures coming up. I think they've got Clifton and Sherburn in the next couple of weeks, two great, great schools. But really impressed by, by the lads from Marlborough. Really digging in deep. Really impressive stuff. Their top five debut, and it couldn't be more deserved because that, was an outstanding performance to beat a school that had looked imperious all the way up until Saturday afternoon. Fantastic stuff from Marlborough College. Up next is Millfield School, and it feels almost as if it's a bit of a cliche that they keep making our top five. You know, this is their fourth week in succession in our top five. But the thing is, their level of performance means we can't stop including them. You know, they've won five from five this season and have played some of the very best teams around. Um... They won the St. Joseph's Festival. You know, they are performing at an incredibly high level. 
And on Friday night, they did so again. They won away at Hartbury College, 38-8. Now, detractors will say it was Hartbury College Bulls, which is effectively their sort of non-ACE league team. That's on Hartbury, though. Hartbury first team, believe me, would have probably suffered a similar fate, or at least it been very close. This Millfield outfit is outstanding. I've seen both teams live. We put Clifton College in our top five after they beat Hartbury on a Friday night. That same Hartbury Bulls team. Millfield have gone even better than Clifton did. That shows you Millfield's level of performance. They have been, they've been absolutely brilliant this season. We're really looking forward to some of the games they've got coming up. Because I tell you what, this could be a fantastic season for them. Fourth week in a row. Their fourth week in total in our top five. They've sort of been so consistent of late. And we are... So impressed by them. Outstanding work from Millfield. Up next, Royal Hospital School. Now, if Millfield are one of the best-known teams in all of schoolboy rugby the world over, probably fair to say Royal Hospital School aren't. But I'll tell you what, on their season so far, they're performing at such a good level. Six wins from six. It's only their first week in the top five. And we had a sort of look through their results and kind of went, can't believe we've not included them yet. But on Saturday, they put in a performance that meant we felt like we had to put them in. 48-0 at home against the Lees from Cambridge. Cracking effort from the Ipswich School. Royal Hostel School, really impressive team. I remember going down there a few years back and seeing them put some top sides away. You know, an Ipswich School side that included Simon Ezekwe. Like, really, really good, good school. Uh, really enjoy watching them play. They've had a fantastic season. As I said before, six wins from six. They keep pumping in the results. They are worth keeping an eye on. And you know what? Rugby in sort of Suffolk, Essex, Norfolk this year, at its strongest for a good while, there are some surprising schools doing some very big things. Really worth keeping an eye on what goes on in that neck of the woods over the course of the next sort of six weeks of the season. But for now, Royal Hospital School, make it into our top five. Fantastic work from them. And the final team in this week's top five school teams of the weekend is Sutton Valance. Another team unbeaten so far this season. Six wins from six. Putting in some fantastic performances. Absolutely stunning rugby from them. Weirdly, this weekend, probably one of the ones that has been a bit of a closer game for them than some others. But we just could not leave them out of our top five. And to put that in context, they beat Church's College 44-7. Absolutely astonishing work from Sutton Balance. They are putting in some brilliant performances. Um, one of the key stats that we've sort of noticed looking through it, they have only conceded three tries all season. Absolutely astonishing. Three tries over the course of six games. In total, they've only conceded, I think it's 24 points. They are playing some utterly sublime rugby. We're really interested. They've got a Schools Vars game going on as I record this. We are very interested to see what happens there. I have a feeling that they could go very, very deep in that competition. They've got every chance of coming away with a bit of silverware, to be honest. Sutton Valance are playing some sublime rugby. It was about time they made our top five, and this week they make it. Fantastic work from Sutton Valance. As I said at the top, so many teams always competing for this top five. It's so difficult to pick out just five on any given weekend. You know, we had some absolutely brilliant performances. There was... Norwich going well in the school's plate. We had Mill Hill going well in the school's vase. So many really interesting performances over the course of the weekend. And of course, this being the first one back after half term, it was a chance for those that had performed well in the first half to go on and establish that position and really make sort of make moves on their dominance over over the schools in their uh, in their region. But also for others who'd maybe struggled, such as Mul Marlborough College, as we saw earlier in in this video. It was a chance to go and sort of right a few wrongs and start with a fresh slate. And we saw that with some fantastic performances all over the country. So among those great performances, how about Stonyhurst College away at Ampleforth College? The big sort of Catholic school derby. Stonyhurst, 40-22 away from home. Outstanding. And here, one of our top 10, uh, sorry, 10 to watch fixtures rather. Barnard Castle beating Queggs Wakefield 31-0. Brilliant from Barnard Castle. They've only lost once all season. That was our live stream at Woodhouse Grove. Woodhouse Grove, by the way, who were also outstanding this weekend. 41-17 over Grammar School at Leeds and a bit of a sort of Bradford-Leeds derby. 
elsewhere. How about City of London Freemans? 52-26 against Emmanuel. Thrilling game and an absolutely epic performance from City of London. Clifton College made last week's top five. Very, very nearly made this week's top five. 25-0 home win over Sherbourne. That's a really impressive result. Clifton College are looking irrepressible. Big week coming up for them as well. Wellington College up on Saturday. And then they've got Millfield coming up later as well. Big, big weeks ahead for them. Halliford, so often so impressive. It's, it's surely a matter of time before they make our top five. They were away at uh, Cobham International School. 67-7 they won. And how about Sedbur? You know, one of the top sides in any year and proving it again this year. 31-5 away at Denston College. Sedbur unbeaten. They had a sort of scratchy COVID-affected first half of term and yet still managed to get into our top five a couple of times. Went through it unbeaten, took some huge scalps, including that Whitgift game. Looks like they're on a roll again now, beating Denston. They've got big games to come. Wellington College in that Broad Street game. Millfield at the end of the season. Could they be in the hunt for the Daily Mail? You never know. How about Haleybury as well? 48-22 over Reeds. Haleybury started the season well, had a bit of a wobble. Looks like they're back bang in form. Harrow School, again, we keep talking about how great they are. They've been in our top five. 34-12 against NSB. Great work from Harrow. Old Swinford Hostel. I actually had them in the top five and then rejig things a bit. 59-5 away at Kes Birmingham. Fantastic work from Old Swinford Hostel. Oakham up against old rivals Aundel winning 22-0 away from home. That's a great result. This one was interesting. Radley College against Uppingham. Both sides deserve a shout here. Radley College for getting back on the horse, proving again how good they are. Uppingham for keeping such a quality side so close. Really impressed by both there. Reading Bluecoat, 26-0 against the Oratory. Keep an eye out for Reading Bluecoat. We're going to be uh, having them on our live stream on Friday. Seaford College overturning Hampton, 26-14. Seaford, you know, good side, very good side. In fact, they uh, they won the Merkiston Festival and we've had them on a couple of streams. Turning over Hampton, though, that's a big result. So too, Tunbridge winning 20-0 away at St Paul's. Really impressed by Tunbridge having a really, really strong season. Stanford against Rugby was a bit of a classic two cracking teams going at it but rugby school coming out on top 21 12 really enjoyed that one stowe again as well you know we've had them in the top five before and they're playing some wonderful stuff they beat st edwards oxford 43 22 wallington county grammar 61 12 against st dunstan's college big shout out for wallington that's an incredible scoreline whitgift back on the horse tough result against sedba before half term Back with a bang this weekend though, 40-0 against RGS High Wycombe. And then a shout out to Trent College, winning 29-0 away at Worksop College. Really good work from them. So yeah, some fantastic results. So many teams that could have got in the top five. Difficult to narrow it down, but in the end, we could only have five. So that is our top five. Kirkham Grammar School, Marlborough College, Millfield, Royal Hospital School and Sutton Valence. Congratulations to all. What an epic weekend. It was all that remains for me to do is to say thank you so much for watching. Please do tune in again next time. And to find out about next time, make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell. Then you'll be alerted as soon as it comes out and it makes a huge difference to us. Meantime, do make sure that you check out our social media channels, Twitter, Instagram, the like, at NextGen15, at NextGenXV, and of course the website www.nextgen15.com, nextgen15.com. Thank you very much for your time. If you enjoyed it, do give it a like and let us know in the comments who you'd have picked. See you next time.